how does the CMO add value to the company? Well, that's the question. Elisa Steele, I'm the CMO of Skype. I'm Mark de Grandpre, Head of Marketing at Kind Healthy Snacks. Mary Lee Sachs, and I do a lot of things. I'm an author and a marketing consultant. Hi, I'm Michael Sneed, and I'm the Vice President for Global Corporate Affairs for Johnson & Johnson. I think the best thing that a CMO can do to add value to the company is to give the company insights about the market and about their users. We have so much in the world of digital technology now. We get the, we get the direct input from our customers. Uh, from other stakeholders, how do you make sure that you can synthesize that and, and really generate insights that can lead to real actions? If you can do that, then you can turn that into returns in all sorts of ways. Returns on reputation, returns on revenue, and returns on growth for the company. CMOs are really meant to be the growth engine for a company. And more and more, I think that's becoming true for CMOs. I mean, the CMO needs to be the brand steward, ultimately. Uh, and it touches every component of the company, right? From operations to product development. They're really there to really kind of bridge between the management function and understanding the outside world. That's sometimes not easy to do at the CMO level. But you have to stay close to the business, close to the customers. A role as a CMO is to make sure that the brand stays through to the ethos, to what it stands for, and ultimately it's your role to make sure we don't deviate from that.